everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages uh, we're going to take a look at and see how your person sees you okay so think of your romantic energy and we want to know them how they see you through their eyes so how they see you through their point of view this is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind if you're after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire i will list the email address just below the video here so we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and uh, we'll see how is it that your person views you how do they see you through their eyes through their point of view some of you do want to see yourself through their point of view so this is your chance okay you're coming up as the empress wonderful There's a strong attraction. There's a very strong attraction here, like a moth to a flame. Okay. A very strong, passionate energy. So this person is very attracted to you. They think you're extremely attractive. They think you're very um, beautiful. They're very, you're very, uh, you're in like great shape. They think you're someone who, you know, can be a little bit high maintenance or someone who, I feel like they're intimidated here by your beauty, to be honest with you. They're intimidated by your looks. Okay. So maybe this person feels like you're, they're punching above their weight with you. Cause I feel like they're immensely attracted to you. And I feel like you really caught their attention. Now there's more than just a physical attraction, but I just want you to know that the sexual energy, that chemistry between the two of you is palpable. It's like really perceptible, even by other close connecting energies. They're extremely attracted to you. Extremely. I feel like you've, they've, you've even got, they have photos, right? They have access to your photos, whether it's your social media, whether you've shared photos with them and they keep like revisiting those photos. They keep looking back on photos here. Um, sometimes they're a little bit in awe of you like they can't help they can't kind of believe that they've managed to you know um get so lucky here with you so this person i feel like is really attracted to you and they do feel like you're someone who's very someone who likes to take care of themselves you're coming up as the empress and the empress is a very feminine energy someone who's very um you know who likes to really look after themselves is very aesthetically pleasing here a little bit high maintenance for some of you though maybe you're someone who you know uh really likes to like you like branded stuff okay and you like high quality stuff and i feel like a lot of you are coming up as really independent as well and again because there's this sense of intimidation okay this person i feel like is intimidated by you so it's either by you know they're intimidated by your beauty um, and by your looks, by your, you know that energy that you have around you, they're also intimidated by the fact that intimidated by the fact that you hold your own. So someone here's coming up as really independent. You know they've got their head screwed on. They've got direction. They've got goals. They've got ambitions. A very independent energy, and that can really intimidate. You know, intimidate people. Okay, that can really be intimidating to some people. So, you know, for as attracted and as interested as they are in you, they're a little intimidated by you as well. There is intimidation that I am getting um, with this person's energy. They do see you sometimes as someone who is very, like, they understand that you have options. You do. They understand that you have options. I mean, to them, you're extremely good looking. How could you not? So they can see that you, in, like, you like the chase. And to be honest with you, they enjoy chasing you, okay? For them, it, they enjoy the thrill of the hunt, the pursuit. Um, you know, they're having fun in that sense. But they also, for some, for some of you, you're dealing with a person who I feel like is a little bit, it's almost like they try, they understand that they're not the only ones that are chasing you. They get that. Okay. They understand that you have options and they understand that they're up against competitors. So I'm seeing that this person is really trying to stand out from their competition. I feel like this person is really pursuing you. Okay. Or will be really, uh, will be very pursuant in the future. This is someone who as I've mentioned, likes the thrill of the chase, likes the hunt. But I also get a sense that you enjoy being pursued as well. You enjoy the attention here. So this person, I feel like, is really trying their best to stand out from the competition here. Um, they're, they're very competitive. And it's almost like they're trying to fight off their competition here. It's almost like they're going, they're trying to go a little bit above and beyond, the, you know, the next person here. They, however, see you as a bit of a flighty energy okay they feel as though 
although they see you as someone who knows what they want, sometimes you come across as you're not so sure, okay? Because for some of you, why do I get that you and this person are on and off? Or you and this person, you communicate and then you don't, you know? There's an attraction, there's something there, there's... You've sparked something in this person, okay? It's important for you to know that. Because of all of this fire energy, you've ignited something within them. They've not felt this way about a person before in quite some time. They've not been attracted or they've not had someone as, they've not had someone as attractive or, you know, as good looking as you, as you. So this is why I feel like this person is so, they're so, like, insistent and they're so persistent here. It's because... They feel as though you're out of their league, so they feel like, okay, they have to step up their game here, right? However, and, and I did mention you've sparked something within them, okay? You've definitely ignited a fire, and I feel like that person definitely wants to fan the flames. However, back to this, they see you as someone, because for some of you, I get a sense that this is a little bit inconsistent. You talk, and then you don't. This thing is on, and then it's off, and then, you know, it's like this inconsistent kind of energy. So they see you as someone a bit flighty or a little bit fleeting. Um, maybe some of you aren't after a relationship. Maybe some of you aren't after something long term. And this is why I'm picking that energy up. You know, someone who's a little bit of a fluctuating presence. Um, someone who's a little bit on and off. So although they do feel like you're someone who's, you know, very driven, very ambitious and very well put together. A part of them sees you as someone who doesn't necessarily know what they want when it comes to love. Don't, don't be upset, but I feel like this is how they see you. And look, they may just have the wrong idea of you, okay? This person might not know you. Or there may be, you know, an explanation as to why they see you. So I feel like I don't want, you know, I don't want you to get upset hearing this. But yes, this person sees you as someone who... You might be successful in so many other areas of your life, but they feel like when it comes to love, and possibly it's due to the fact that you have so many, you know, romantic potentials here, and you have so many, you know, romantic uh, interests who are trying to pursue you, that's really hard to, you know, pin you down, and it's really hard to settle down. But they do see you as a flighty energy. They see you as someone who's very energetic, who's very enthusiastic, who's very charming, very appealing. Um, some of you, I feel like, are very athletic. You're very, you take great care of yourself. You know, you, you really work out. You stay in shape, and they can see that. They see you as discipline. Okay, there's a lot of discipline. So some of you um, are coming up as a bit of a, like a gym junkie, or you know, you're very athletic. You're very sporty, or you're just very disciplined here. You've got a very disciplined mind, and it shows. You know, people who hold themselves to high standards, it shows. It shows. You know, it shows up on them, right? So they see you as someone who's quite disciplined in many areas of their life. Um, they also see you as someone who's competitive. And so you're coming up as a little bit feisty. Some of you may have is it anger issues that I'm picking up. You may be really quick to, quick to temper. Sometimes they feel as though they can't necessarily reason with you. Because um, there's this, yeah, I'm picking up this. Someone's temper flares up really quickly here, right? Knight of Pentacles, they see you as someone who likes, like, you like to do it your way, right? You like to stick to a routine. Or some of you may are even coming across as border OCD, um, and they get that. They, they, they pick, yeah, this is what they're picking up on, that you like things a certain way. Some, you like things done this way and not that way. And sometimes you're not always open or flexible in certain situations. So this person feels as, you know, um, you can be a little bit difficult when it comes to that, because you, it's like... You know, you want it done this way and you're not really open to any other possibilities with the Knight of Pentacles. You, you, but then again, I feel like it, it's because you like what you like, you stick to what you like, you stick to the brands you like, you stick to what works. It's tried and tested with the Knight of Pentacles energy, right? This person is also picking up that you're in a point in your life where there's big tra changes or transitions happening. A part of them is scared that they aren't able to handle those changes. So for some of you, you may have some really big career changes or just some really big changes when it comes to your life. A part of this person, I don't know, like a part of them feels like maybe they're not ready for all these um, transformations and changes that you're going through. Okay. Um, you're also coming up as a seven of pentacles. And that's, you know, the energies that I'm getting, the seven of uh, swords, sorry, the energies that I'm getting here is this person feels as like you're very playful. You're very youthful. You've got a lot of energy. You're very energetic. You're very enthusiastic. But for some, I feel like you, you're also seen as someone who's a little bit dishonest. Like 
you don't always stick to what you say and you don't always follow through or you may have a tendency to sometimes embellish your stories, fabricate your stories, okay? Which is a lot of people, I feel like, you know, there's always, um, people have a tendency to embellish what they say because, you know, it sounds better when you embellish things. So they don't, they don't necessarily see you as someone dishonest or a liar, but they do see you as someone who um, maybe has a tendency to fabricate or embellish, you know, their stories or the truth or someone who, you know, doesn't always can tell little white lies here and there. They also see you as someone who's mysterious because this person feels as though they can't necessarily figure you quite out. And look, maybe that can be put down to the fact that the two of you don't, you know, you haven't really spent all this time to get to know one another. And maybe, you know, it's it's more of a physical and emotional affair than anything else. But this person feels as though you're a bit of a mystery. You're a little bit closed off. You're a little bit guarded. Okay, they're really attracted to you. But I feel like it's also that mystery kind of works for you. It works in your favor because it's like you only give them, you know, you only feed them little bits at a time. And this person stays hungry for getting to know you. So the fact that you're this mysterious energy or this enigma to them has them coming back for more. It has them very curious. It has them, you know, standing on their uh, tippy toes here. So this person is definitely intrigued. They also see you as someone very different. Like you've got your own style, you've got your own, your own flair. You've got like this uniqueness about you that they're really digging. They really like this. Okay. Strong feminine energy though. So if you're a female, you're coming up as very feminine, um, strong feminine energy but if you're a guy you are coming up as someone who is in touch with his feminine side okay so strong feminine energy he uh they see you as someone who's really into some of you are really into astrology like astrology tarot horoscopes um or you got this person into you got this person hooked on astrology tarot or horoscopes here astronomy as well is coming up um sometimes you can come across a little bit I did pick up this inconsistent energy as well, but sometimes you can come across as a bit hot and cold. So sometimes I'm picking up Gemini and strong Piscean energy here. Some of you Pisces, Gemini, or you got either or in your placement. So it's like if you're a Gemini, they don't know which side of the twin you know they're getting. If you're a Pisces, they don't know which fish they'll be dealing with, the one that's swimming away from the real world or into the real real world. So sometimes they feel as though there's this like there's two sides to your nature, okay? So they feel as though they don't know which energy is going to show up kind of thing. Um, they also see you as someone who I feel like with the Queen of Wands um, is, going, is very successful, is going to be very successful. So for those of you who are very driven and ambitious, which is coming up in this reading very strongly, they see you as someone who's going to be very successful in your field. So if you're studying or if, you, if there's something you're really passionate about, this person feels like you have what it takes to be a success in life. And if you're already you know, quite successful and well-established, I'm going to level with you. This person is intimidated by your success. They are. They're intimidated by just how well put together you are, by just how driven you are, by ju just how successful you are, okay? Um, they do see you, for the most part, they do see you as someone who's warm and vibrant, someone very personable. Um, there is, this person is very jealous, so, and I feel like that jealousy is coming through because you get a lot of attention or you do have a lot of friends, you are very personable, you are very engaging, um, and this person can be a little bit possessive and can be a little bit on the jealous side. But overall, I do feel like there's a very strong attraction here that exists between the two of you. The two, the, you know, this person is very attracted to you. I'm also seeing that you do things to them. You, you've done something to them and this person can't pull away. Like they're stuck on you and they can't get unstuck here. They're very attracted. They think about you often. They, you know, they look at your photos um, they reread your messages here. There's such a strong attraction. And for some of you, I feel like every time you see each other, that sexual attraction, that sexual anticipation just builds, just mounts up higher and higher. So very strong energy there. What else? They see you as someone very fun, very fun, very engaging. They see you as someone who I feel like they enjoy spending time with you. They enjoy getting to know you. They enjoy being in your presence here. But most of all, I feel like they're really enjoying, you know, giving you this attention here. All right, guys. And I was going to pull a few angel answers. Um, I'm just going to get the cards to shuffle and just see what messages the angels might have for you in relation to this connection here. 
I feel like this card wanted to come out. Okay, let go. There's something here that you have to let go of. It's really, it's a bit vague, isn't it? Let go. I guess for some of you, you'll know immediately what this is. But for some of you, maybe you need to let go of any, um, pre uh, any preconceived notions about this person. You might need to let go of any judgment maybe as well here. Yeah? But I feel like there's something here you need to let go. Maybe let go of pressure here. Don't put so much pressure and just let this take you wherever it needs to go. So maybe let go here instead of holding on, let go. You, you know what it is that you have to let go of personally, right? Yes, okay, so we've got a resounding yes. So if you had a question in mind as I was doing the reading regarding this person and regarding the connection, the angels seem to have answered saying yes. Um, there's a lot of possibility and there's a lot of potential in this connection. And I feel like, should you give it a go? Well, the angels seem to think so. The angel guides are saying, you know, yes. Um, you know, yes to this connection, yes to exploring this, yes to giving this a go, yes to being open, okay? Because I do feel like, you know, this person here was destined for you and the two of you, there, there's a reason why the two of you have attracted one another, right? Look for a sign. Okay, so for some of you who feel, who still don't feel convinced and you still don't feel like, okay, you don't know whether or not you should give this a go or whether or not you should be open, look for a sign, okay? Signs and symbols and synchronicities are all around us. In fact, the universe and our angel and our tarot guides are constantly trying to communicate with us, but sometimes we might not see those signs, even if they like show up like as flashing neon signs or even if they show up as red flags waving us down. If we're closed off, we will not see those signs. So make sure you open yourself up to, you know, looking and seeing any signs because there are signs all around you regarding this person, regarding this connection, okay? Whether those signs are coming up as red flags or flashing neon signs, look for them, okay? And I'll just pull out just two more. Compromise. Okay, there is need, there are going to be some compromises that will need to be made in this situation. The message I get for you is meet each other halfway. Okay, not a quarter of the way, but halfway. Lastly, there's something better. Okay, well, there you go. That just kind of contradicts everything I've said. Um, No, okay, I feel like what that message for you is there's something better here. I feel like... For those of you that are doubtful about this connection and for those of you that have, you know, preconceived notions or if you feel like for those of you that have judged this person too quickly, I can't pick up the card. It's stuck. It's stuck. Bear with me. Okay, there we go. For those of you that have, you know, your your judgments or your reservations about this connection, I feel like there's something better in it for you. Like this connection, he's holds something better than what you think it may. Okay. I think, yeah, I feel like that that's what that means. There's something better. I feel like there's something in this connection that you're not seeing and it's coming up as it's better than what you think it is. So don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to, you know, discount or dismiss this connection because it could be just, it could be better than what you think it may be. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking um, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.